Hello there and welcome to Chess Tech. So, we've got a live 10 minute rapid game. And um, I've opened with the English against my lower rated opponent. So, I'm going to go for this G3 setup. Um, I always find against lower rated players, if there's one opening that uh, you can be sure to possibly get a quick advantage and get them out of book which is sort of what we've got already here it's the English so um, yeah so just looking at this position at the moment so I'm just going to go for I'm just going to go for some classical development here wimpy a little bit of a wimpy move there G3 but I'm um, just going to castle and uh, get my pieces out on um, good squares so what can we say about his position so unless he's going to fian fianchetto his white square bishop which he doesn't look like he is he's already got a bit of a problem because as you can see his white square bishop is totally blocked in and now he's his knight is totally blocked in, so I don't think that's an optimum move, but it's a very aggressive move here. So I could just take that pawn with my knight, which would mean I could capture his... Um, so that move is actually on now, so I can sacrifice the knight. If he takes it, then I win the rook. Does that work? Looks like it works to me. Let's just go for it. So, oh, that doesn't work, does it? Because I forgot to move my my knight first on F3. <laughs> Can you believe that? So, what I've actually done there is just giving up a, a piece for a pawn. And that was not good at all. But I think I can probably get something out of this, possibly. I mean, that was just a terrible, terrible blunder. I was already, I was actually thinking of one thing before I'd actually played something else. So, by fluke, I've managed to come out with a, at least, a rook here. Um, but a pretty horrible position. It has to be said, my only hope really is to, uh, so he's brought his knight in there, particularly, I think that's a great move. Um, I'm just going to ignore that, get control of this file a bit, and then um, hopefully swindle him in a minute. And I want to play a move like Queen C4. Um, so that's really... Um, that just goes to show, I mean, that's pretty awful chess. Um, I mean, this guy's not very, uh, not very convinced with his moves here, to be honest. Um, hmm. He says, what I need to do here What I really want to do, what do I want to do? Get my rooks into play, I suppose. It's about the only... He hasn't got a white squared bishop. So, um, it's one bonus. And um, I've got an extra couple of extra pawns. Um, seven, yeah, seven to five. It's actually um, pretty equal, to be honest. I've got to be extremely careful here. See, I don't think that works tactically. He's, um, something's not right about his position here. So it's telling me he's trying it on with tactics. But, um, 
Yeah, he's got a discovery against my... I'm going to be careful with playing moves like F4 because of the Night Fork coming in at E3. Oh, dearie me. Um, what can we do about this? We need some tactics badly. Um, yeah, I don't know what he's up to. I'm just gonna, just gonna probably take something with his, with his bishop. And he gets a discovery on my dark square bishop. But I don't think that works because I can hit his queen with e4 and then drop my dark square bishop back to e7 hitting his rook. Uh, which means he's also got to be a little bit careful with the back rank threat I've got potentially here at the moment. Um, so yeah. So that move there still feels like he's... Uh, He's playing a bit nervously here. Now, this is where there should be some sort of tactic here. There really should. I want to. I want to push this D pawn. I'm just going to push it. See what he's going to do with that bishop. I mean, he might just exchange it off. You know, that's going to be great for me. Probably need that dark square bishop. Two knights against the rook. Mm. Yes, yeah, so he just wants to exchange. Wants a clean game. His pieces are a bit awkward at the moment, I think. I mean, not to say that mine are perfect, but I'm just not going to make it too easy for him. Just going to drop that back there. And, um,. So, you know what, if I could get get E4 in here, I'd almost, almost, so you can't, see that's, that's a bit of a blunder, let me get E4 in, and now, hopefully, yeah, okay, so that's not, not much good either, because I've just got F3, so he's trying to just, he's just going for a quick, quick win really. Um, I he's going to find himself, if he's not careful, losing a piece. Um, I mean actually, this could be the time to take the knight. <sighs> Is there another tactic here? It feels like there should be something. If I can get those central pawns rolling, and we could have something here. I can get my. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I mean, it's quite a good. Very tempted to have that bishop off, you know. Bishop off, then play b3. Get the pawns rolling. Can't see he's got any threats, really. Um, just going to have it off. Capture the queen. Um, and then we've got... I've got e5 here. e5. He's looking a bit awkward for him, isn't it? Let's just go e5. He's got this check. I'm not really worried about that. Really going to help him because I've got rook. I've got the rook coming down. He checks me, so I've got queen check, king g2. I can't see he's still got to move the. Hmm. So now I've been threatening. Um, see, I want to play obviously rook c7 straight away, but. I can't because of the check. This is very annoying. So I think I'm just going to take control of the dark squares. Now I'm threatening Wook C 
seven. Next move, winning a piece almost. Not winning a piece, but I don't think he's. Well, that just loses a piece straight away because of rook c6. That loses his queen. So it's not a great move. And he's got the fork there. Okay. So he'll probably be a bit upset about that now. Um, like I say, I just got to centralise the queen now. So this is this is my point about um, the English opening is just so wonderful against weaker players because they don't um, just get themselves in a complete mess tactically. I could have won a piece them queen queen b seven. That's a bit lame. Then might still on. So I mean now. Can still win a piece. Um, I come in here. Okay. And this is a pretty, pretty horrific position to be in, I would say. Um, he's got that check now, but I mean, <sighs> this is probably over. As over as it could be. Um, you know. So I mean, yeah, go, going back to what I was saying is, um, there's two, two take-homes here. When I'm playing somebody who's 200 points below me, so there's no doubt about it that you should win the game anyway, but um, the first take-home is, obviously, like I said before, sort of the English is a good opening against lower-rated opponents. Um, I really do rate it. Now he's just lost a piece. Um, Second thing is, even if you blunder against lower rated opponents, always play to the end. Always play to the death because when they're, you know, we're talking a couple of hundred points lower rated than you. Um, so next move, let's go. Um, you're nearly almost guaranteed probably some sort of swindle. So now after rook, is it e7? This, is, this should lose a. This should lose something now. He's got to move the knight, and the knight's protecting the bishop. So probably now you'd resign in any normal game. Um, in the overboard game, you just resign. Okay. So, to spike check me. It's going to be a question of um, quick mates here. Let's see if we can get this done. Check. So we just bring the queen in next move. It's going to be over. the end of that so thanks very much for watching that and um, I hope you enjoyed that and I uh, hope to see you again soon